Yokai are supernatural creatures or phenomenon from Japanese folklore. The term yokai is often translated as ghost, phantom, or monster, but it encompasses a wide range of entities. Yokai can fall on the side of evil, good, or simply mischievous, coming in various forms, including spirits of the deceased, animals with supernatural abilities, and shape shifting entities. Yokai have been a central aspect of Japanese culture for centuries, appearing in countless legends, artworks, and folk tales. This is Pantheon Mythology, and this is the ultimate guide to Japanese yokai. Just quickly before we begin, if you love yourself some mythology and folklore, then head on over to Pantheon Apparel. You'll find designs inspired by deities, beasts, and legends from across the mythos. We're rated excellent on Trustpilot and ship worldwide. Link in the description. Abura Akago yokai from Omi province appear as fireballs or babies. They drift as orbs, transforming into infants to lick oil from lamps, then revert and fly away. Originating from oil thieves, they symbolize the punishment for their sins, like other oil related yokai. Abura Sumashi, a rare yokai from Kumamoto Prefecture, resembles a squat humanoid with a large head and wears a straw raincoat. They inhabit mountainous areas where wild tea plants grow. Little is known about their behavior, but they are reclusive and rarely seen by travelers, appearing briefly in response to mention. Legend suggests they are the spirits of oil thieves, punished for their crimes by reincarnation as Abura Sumashi. Abumiguchi were once stirrups of a warrior who perished in battle, left forgotten on the battlefield. Disheartened by the loss of their purpose, these soldiers' tools can undergo a transformation into Tsukumogami. Similar to loyal companions, Abumiguchi linger in the fields, awaiting their masters who, unfortunately, will never return. Akai are massive fish, resembling stingrays, reaching lengths of 10 to 12 kilometers. Often mistaken for islands, they spend most of their time on the ocean floor, but surface occasionally, creating dangerous whirlpools. Sailors mistaking them for land often faced fatal consequences. Originating from a 19th century picture book, a legend tells of sailors finding what they thought was an island, only for it to sink beneath them. They had been walking on an Akai's back. Akaname are small goblin-like yokai, found in dirty homes and baths. They resemble hunched, child-sized creatures with greasy hair and skin, coming in various colours and eye configurations. With long, sticky tongues, they feed on filth in unsanitary environments. Akaname avoid humans and dislike cleanliness, spreading disease, thus emphasizing the importance of maintaining clean spaces to deter them. Akamanto The urban legend of Akamanto, prevalent in Japanese elementary schools, revolves around a deadly encounter in haunted restrooms. Typically, a student in desperate need of a toilet ventures into a specific stall, only to be presented with a fatal choice of red or blue paper by a mysterious voice. Choosing either option leads to a gruesome demise, often involving bloodshed or strangulation. Variations include different colours and outcomes, but the fate is usually inevitable. The legend's origin dates back to the 1930s, reflecting the anxiety of students facing impossible situations akin to test questions. Akamanto's appearance has evolved over time, with the modern depiction featuring a figure in a long red cloak, though historical interpretations vary. Akashita is a mysterious spirit that manifests as a dark cloud with sharp claws and a hairy, bestial face, notably characterized by its long, bright red tongue. It emerges during the summer months, residing within dense, black clouds, and is often regarded as a harbinger of retribution, particularly in disputes over water rights. Its primary role is to punish those who engage in water theft, a serious offence in agricultural communities reliant on irrigation for successful crop cultivation. These water bandits, who may cunningly divert water from their neighbours' fields, risk facing the wrath of their community and the violent intervention of the Akashita. 
This spirit, with its ominous presence, seeks out the perpetrators, draining their ill-gotten water and ensnaring them with its menacing tongue as a form of divine justice. The Akateko is a red, disembodied child's hand found hanging in Japanese honey locust trees. It surprises passers-by by dropping down from trees but doesn't cause significant harm. Some witnesses report seeing a fever-inducing furisode-wearing girl under the same trees, though her connection to the Akateko is unclear. Originating from a tree in Hachinohe, Amori Prefecture, variations of this yukai are also found in Fukushima and Kagawa Prefectures. Akoro Kamui is a colossal red octopus god residing in Hokkaido's Uchiura Bay. Spanning over one hectare with its legs extended, it's feared for its ability to swallow boats and whales whole, turning the sea and sky a deep red when it appears. Locals avoid the water during this time, carrying scythes for protection if necessary. Originating from Ainu folklore, it's revered as the Lord of Uchiura Bay, stemming from a legend where a gigantic spider transformed into the octopus deity it's known as today, after being pulled into the bay by the sea god Ripun Kamui. Akuchu is a perilous insect that targets the spleen, using its flexible segmented body and broad tail to navigate its host's body. Equipped with six sharp claws, it firmly attaches itself to the spleen. This invasive bug sustains itself by stealing the host's food with its hooked bill, making weight gain and nourishment challenging for the afflicted individual. However, infections of akuchu can be effectively treated with moko, a type of Chinese medicine derived from a species of thistle. Akugyo are large mermaids found in Japanese waters, featuring human-like heads and arms with fish-like bodies covered in gold and silver scales. They possess two white horns and can spew fire from their mouths. Spending most of their time underwater, their behavior remains largely unknown. Fearful encounters with Okugyo by fishermen are rare but dangerous, as boats can become ensnared on their backs, leading to capsizing and consumption of the occupants. In a famous incident off the coast of Ichigo province in 1805, Lord Matsudaira of Kaga led a successful mission to slay an 11-metre-long Okugyo with 60-centimetre horns. Another tale tells of a taiko master, Izutsuya Kanroko, whose boat became stuck on an Okugyo's back, but he miraculously escaped by playing his drum with such vigour that it shook the boat loose. Akuru is a monstrous fish and evil god featured in Japan's oldest mythological texts, dwelling in the Sito inland sea of present-day Okoyama Prefecture. This giant creature, capable of swallowing ships whole, was slain by the legendary warrior prince Yamato Takeru, son of Emperor Keiko. The origin of Akuru's name remains mysterious, with its tail appearing in ancient chronicles like the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki and later in local folklore. Yamato Takeru's exploits in subjugating various spirits including Akuru are believed to symbolise his campaign to establish central government control. Some interpretations suggest that these gods were actually bandits or rebels transformed into yokai for symbolic effect. In a famous legend, Yamato Takeru confronts Akuru while sailing through the Seito Inland Sea, ultimately slaying the creature after a fierce battle. Amabi is a mermaid-like yokai with human and fish features, glowing with a bright light visible from shore. Believed to offer protection against disease, it was encountered by a government official in Haigo province in April 1846. The Amabi prophesied a bumper crop and instructed the official to distribute its picture for disease protection. This encounter, similar to other prophetic yokai, reflects a trend during a period of widespread diseases like cholera. Amabiko Mysterious yokai emerging from the sea resemble ape-like creatures with protruding mouths, large round eyes and thick long hair. Often depicted with three legs, sightings occasionally report four legs. These elusive beings deliver prophecies foretelling periods of plentiful harvest followed by disaster and disease. Believed to reside in the seas surrounding Japan, sightings have been reported in Kyushu, along the Sea of Japan's coast. 
Amabiko sightings peaked during the 19th century epidemics, attributed to the belief that displaying images of powerful good spirits could ward off evil spirits responsible for disease. Amanajaku are ancient Japanese monsters known for inciting mischief and wickedness in humans. They originate from Shinto mythology and are depicted as evil spirits provoking impious desires in people's hearts. Often associated with spiritual pollution, they have roots in myths of wicked Shinto deities like Amanazaku and Amanasagume. In one famous tale, a childless couple adopt a girl named Uriko Hime, found in a melon. Before leaving for town, they warn her not to open the door. Despite this, an Amanajaku tricks her into opening the window and attacks her. The demon then wears her skin to deceive her parents. However, a crow reveals the truth of her new identity, and the villagers chase and kill the demon. Amanazako, a fearsome demon goddess, resembles a human with a bestial face featuring a long nose, dangling ears, sharp teeth, and protruding tusks. Her vile, contrary nature leads her to possess humans, inciting pride or anger. She becomes enraged when things don't go her way, capable of hurling God's great distances and rendering even the strongest blades useless with her powerful teeth. Legend says she emerged from the storm god Susanu's pent-up emotions, making her an ancient deity believed to be the ancestor of various yokai. Her son, Amanasaku, shares her obstinate traits and eventually became a ruler over disobedient kami. Amazaki Baba is an elderly woman from northeastern Japan, nearly indistinguishable from an ordinary old woman, making her very difficult to recognize as a yokai until it's too late. She appears on winter nights, going from house to house asking for Amazaki. Those who respond, whether affirmatively or negatively, fall terribly ill. Hanging a cedar branch over the door is believed to ward her off. A variant called Amasaki Banba in Yamanashi Prefecture sells sake and amazake door-to-door with similar consequences for those who engage. Originally considered a deity of disease, particularly smallpox, Amasaki Baba sightings surge during outbreaks across Japan. Today, she is associated with spreading sickness, especially the common cold, and statues of her are still visited by mothers who leave offerings to protect their children from illness. Amafuri Kozo are youthful beings resembling boys, clad in traditional children's garments and wide-brimmed hats or umbrellas. They are believed to summon rain wherever they go, although they rarely interact with humans directly. Legends link them to playful antics like stealing umbrellas and causing unexpected rain showers. Originating in printed literature during the Edo period, they became popular characters in satirical comics. In folklore, they are associated with unique meteorological events like fox weddings, where rain falls while the sun is out. Amemasu, or white spotted char, is a species of trout found in Northeast Asia popular for game fishing and aquaculture. These fish primarily inhabit rivers, streams and some coastal areas, with some legends attributing their massive size to mythical proportions. In Ainu folklore, they're considered guardian deities of certain lakes, such as Lake Mashu and Lake Shikotsu in Hokkaido. Legend has it that they can transform into human form, often appearing as beautiful women to seduce young men. However, their cold, clammy skin gives away their true nature. Legends also tell of their involvement in creating whirlpools and causing earthquakes. Ame-ona are rain-summoning yokai that appear on rainy days and nights, blamed for kidnapping children. They resemble haggish women soaked in rain, licking water off their hands. Related to minor rain deities, they wander the villagers seeking newborn girls to snatch away. Mothers of stolen babies may transform into Ame-ona, desperate to replace their lost child. Originating from ancient folk beliefs, corrupted rain-bringing goddesses became these malevolent spirits. Amikiri are small, crustacean-like yokai, resembling shrimp or lobsters with a red, segmented shell and bird-like beak. Shy and rarely seen by humans, they are known as net-cutters for their mischievous habit of slicing fishing nets screen doors, or hanging mosquito nets. Though not directly harmful, their actions can devastate fishermen's livelihoods. 
Their origin is uncertain, and legends tell of fishermen whose nets or mosquito nets were mysteriously shredded by these elusive creatures. The Ao Andon is a manifestation of collective human fear, taking the form of a demonic woman with blue skin, black hair, and eerie blue light. During the Edo period, aristocrats held gatherings called Hyaku Monogatari Kairan Kai, where guests shared ghost stories by candlelight until only one candle remained. Legend has it that extinguishing the final candle summoned the Ao Andon, a spirit that emerges from the darkness to attack the guests. This belief stemmed from the superstition that discussing spirits could conjure them into reality. Ao Bozu are enigmatic yokai depicted as large, one eyed, blue skinned priests with magical connections, but local accounts vary in detail like size and habitat. In some regions, they inhabit abandoned homes, wheat fields, or lonely roads. They interact differently depending on the area, snatching children in Shizuoka's fields, threatening women in Kagawa, or challenging travellers to sumo matches in Yamaguchi. Their origin is unclear, but they're linked to old spirit worship and resemble the Hitotsumi Kozo yokai. Various accounts make it challenging to pinpoint their true nature among other priest yokai. Ao Nyobo In the desolate halls of long abandoned mansions, dark and ominous spirits dwell. Among them, the Ao Nyobo. This spectral entity embodies the essence of destitution and ill fortune. Manifesting as a decrepit noblewoman adorned in tattered, moth eaten kimonos reminiscent of ancient aristocracy, she bears the visage of faded beauty with a pallid complexion and weathered features. Residing within the forsaken confines of ruined abodes, she incessantly awaits the arrival of phantom guests, consumed by an eternal vigilance that belies her wretched existence. Any intruder who dares to cross her threshold is swiftly met with a wrathful hunger, becoming yet another victim of her insatiable appetite. Originating from the realm of former court ladies, the term Ao denotes a state of perpetual longing and unfilled aspirations, echoing the tragic fate of those who once graced the illustrious halls of imperial society. Ao Sagibi As certain birds, particularly the black-crowned night heron, reach the twilight of their years, they undergo a remarkable transformation into yokai called Aosagibi. These enigmatic entities are frequently observed during the nocturnal hours in secluded locales abundant with dense foliage, emanating a ghostly bluish-white luminescence and exhaling ethereal blue fireballs from their beaks. Despite their eerie visage, Aosagibi are creatures of timid disposition and harbour no ill intentions towards humans. Nevertheless, it is prudent to exercise caution to prevent misidentifying them amidst other mystical luminosities. The Aposha, a frightening creature resembling a red orni with dark, kelp-like hair, emerges annually in Koshino village, Fukui prefecture, during the Koshogatsu festival. These sea-dwelling monsters roam the streets, banging iron kettles and demanding food while threatening children. The tradition is said to stem from a foreign sailor's shipwreck, with Aposha possibly originating from the plea for mochi. Similar to other oni-like yokai along the sea of Japan's coast, such as the Namage and Amamehage, Aposha are considered marabito, divine spirits from the world of the dead visiting our world. Arie are prophetic aquatic yokai, resembling sea lions, with bulbous bodies, shiny scales, and long necks. Little is known about them due to one recorded sighting. They dwell in the ocean, delivering prophecies and driving away evil spirits. The sole sighting, reported in 1876, followed a pattern similar to other prophetic yokai of the time, foretelling a bountiful harvest and an epidemic. Legends describe their appearance in the Haigo province, where one instructed a government official to hang its image for protection before vanishing back into the sea. The Ashia Raiyashiki are part of the Seven Wonders of Honjo in Edo during the Edo period tells the tale of Aji Kyunosuke, a high-ranking samurai, 
His mansion was visited by a mysterious booming voice demanding its foot be washed. Terrified servants obliged, washing the giant foot each night until Kyunosuke ordered them to stop. The mansion was then thrashed by the foot until Kyunosuke swapped residences with a friend, after which the visits ceased. The cause of this phenomenon remains uncertain, with speculation ranging from mischievous tanuki to allegorical punishment for Kyunosuke's potential wrongdoing. Ashire are low-ranking kitsune, essentially ordinary foxes until they reach the age of 100 when they develop magical abilities. Their training includes studying occult practices and shapeshifting, using objects like human skulls and natural elements to transform. Once they acquire their magical powers, they may seek revenge on humans who wronged them or their allies. The term Ashire originates from the 3rd century Chinese legend of Azi, a fox spirit known for luring men away from their duties. Ashura, formidable demon deities, embody the epitome of strength and martial prowess with their multiple faces and arms. Their insatiable thirst for battle and penchant for destruction sets them apart, driven by an unyielding ego and relentless desire to prove their superiority. Despite their immense power and longevity, Ashura are plagued by internal conflict and unfulfilled desires, trapped in a perpetual cycle of jealousy and discontent. In Japanese Buddhist cosmology, they inhabit the realm of Ashura-do, representing a state of existence marked by perpetual conflict and the inability to transcend earthly passions to attain enlightenment. Atui Kakura, a colossal sea cucumber residing in Hokkaido's Uchiura Bay, seldom emerges from its deep sea habitat. Despite its elusive nature, it poses a significant threat to ships in the bay, capable of capsizing vessels when startled or mistaking them for driftwood and pulling them under. Legend traces its origin to an Aini Mouru garment that was transformed into a massive sea cucumber upon settling in the bay. Azuki Arai, also known as Azukitogi, are mysterious yokai found in the mountainous areas throughout Japan. They are described as short, squat beings resembling Buddhist priests, with round eyes, silly smiles, and large three-fingered hands. These creatures are often heard near streams, washing red azuki beans while singing a peculiar song. Passers-by who hear them may accidentally fall into the river, as the sound of the splash scares the Azuki Arai away. They are elusive and shy, rarely seen, but believed to bring good luck if spotted. Azuki Baba, a sinister variation of the Azuki Yokai family, is a fearsome old hag in Miyagi Prefecture. Appearing at twilight, especially on rainy or misty autumn nights, she sings a ghastly song while washing beans in the river, threatening to catch and eat humans. Witnesses describe her as an eerie, white glow through thick mist as they hear her haunting voice. Despite being rare, stories of Azuki Baba are used to scare children into proper behaviour, believed to be shapeshifted evil creatures imitating harmless yokai. Azuki Hakari, possibly related to Azuki Arai, are poltergeists known for the sounds they make in homes and temples. Heard but never seen, they dwell in attics or gardens, most active after midnight. Their distinctive traits separate them from other Azuki-related yukai. They create rhythmic sounds resembling scattered beans, splashing water, and walking in wooden sandals, often leading to unexplained noises that cease upon investigation. Some encounters attributed to Azuki Arai may actually involve Azuki Hakari, especially near homes or away from rivers. Bake Ichonose, spirits of jinko trees, manifest as towering figures with bright yellow bodies resembling autumn leaves, adorned in tattered black kimonos and wielding small gongs. They appear near ancient jinko trees, striking their mallets to evoke a sense of strangeness or shock. Originating from an 18th century yokai scroll and further elaborated by Mizuki Shigeru, they are linked to old superstitions about jinko trees, which, while revered for their beauty and resilience, are deemed inauspicious in home gardens due to their potential to disrupt energy flow and bring misfortune. Bakakujira are spectral whale skeletons haunting the sea of Japan, surfacing during rainy nights near coastal whaling villages. In folklore, 
They are believed to be the souls of hunted whales seeking revenge, cursing those who witness them with calamities like famine and plague. Legend has it that fishermen once encountered a colossal skeletal whale off Shimane Peninsula, surrounded by eerie fish and birds. Despite their efforts, their harpoons couldn't touch the skeletal form, leading to a terrifying realization of encountering a bake kujira. This encounter brought forth strange calamities to neighboring villages, marking the curse of the vengeful ghost whale. Bakeneko. Cats in Japan, whether domestic or feral, are ubiquitous. In old age, some cats develop supernatural powers and become bakeneko. These yokai start small but can grow as large as humans and possess shape shifting abilities. They often disguise themselves as cats or humans, sometimes even imitating their own masters. Despite their playful appearance, bakeneko are dangerous. They can eat large objects. Consume poison without harm, and even assume the form of their owners after consuming them. They are known to cause misfortune, summon ghostly fireballs, and reanimate corpses for their own purposes. Bakaneko typically emerge due to age, size, or consumption of lamp oil, with an elongated tail being a telltale sign of their transformation, leading to the practice of tail bobbing to prevent it. Bakazori, mischievous sandal yokai, emerge from neglected zori, traditional Japanese straw sandals. These yokai take on humanoid forms with arms, legs, and a large eye, scurrying around homes at night causing disturbances. They chant a favorite rhyme as they move, referencing their unique features, which include three eye holes and two wooden clogs on the underside of Japanese sandals. The Baku, a revered holy beast, Possesses a peculiar form for combining features of various animals a bear's body, an elephant's head, a rhinoceros's eyes, an ox's tail, and a tiger's legs. Despite its monstrous appearance, the Baku is revered as a powerful force for good and protector of humanity. It acts as a guardian spirit, consuming bad dreams and driving away evil spirits and yukai. Symbols of good luck. Baku's name and image adorn talismans, charms, and temple structures. Legend holds that Baku were fashioned from leftover parts during the world's creation, explaining its unique appearance and divine favor. Basan are rare birds exclusive to Shikoku's Ehime Mountains, resemble turkeys in size and chickens in shape. Known for their vibrant red comb and flame like plumage, they emit breath resembling dragon fire, though it lacks heat or ignition. Nocturnal and elusive, they reside in remote bamboo groves, feeding on charred wood and embers. Startled, they create a rustling sound with their wings before disappearing into thin air, leaving little known about their behavior. Basha no Sei are spirits of Japanese banana trees. Often appearing as a human face among the broad leaves. While not overtly hostile, they startle humans by suddenly appearing nearby. Some legends suggest that they can assault and impregnate humans, leading to demon offspring. Stories about these spirits are widespread across Japanese, Chinese, and Ryukyu folklore, with observations recorded by Edo period herbalist Sato Churyo. Legends caution against walking near banana trees at night. Linking them to eerie encounters and supernatural occurrences. Bekataro is a short, pudgy yokai known for pulling down its lower eyelids and sticking out its tongue. Originating from various yokai scrolls, its backstory was later developed by Mizuki Shigeru, a prominent figure in Japanese folklore and manga. According to legend, a baby named Taro, with an insatiable appetite, resorted to eating people after being abandoned by his parents. Transforming into the fearsome Bekataro Yukai. Bito Bito san are spectral entities known solely by their distinct sound, the Bito Bito clacking of wooden clogs. Encountered by solitary pedestrians at night, they mimic footsteps, growing closer with each step, causing unease. Though unsettling, they pose no harm. A simple phrase, after you, Bito Bito san, allows escape. In Matsuoka, a town located in northern Fukui Prefecture, during sleet storms, a variant called Bisha Gatsuku, characterized by Bisha Bisha sounds, appears. 
Biron are ghostly yokai with long tails and gelatinous bodies. While they enjoy scaring humans by caressing their heads with their tails, they can be easily dispelled with salt. Their origins are uncertain, with some legends attributing their creation to a failed magical transformation spell. The oldest written record of Biron dates back to a 1972 yokai encyclopedia, with its origin claimed to be from Heian or Edo period picture scroll. Although no such scroll has been found, Bitan are large sea creatures resembling chubby cows with horns and dragon-like beards, living in Okinawan waters. Locals believe their image holds magical healing properties, with hanging a picture of Bitan said to cure headaches instantly. A practice observed on Takatomi Island, where headaches are rare. First mentioned in the 1832 publication Rukyu Kitan by Bezan Shi, a traveler from Suzhou, China, Bitan are reminiscent of the Rokugyo from the Chinese encyclopedia Shanghai Jing, although no direct connection is established. Legends attribute the origin of Bitan or Bintara to a housemaid in the royal palace during the reign of Ten Sonshi. The first dynasty of the Rukyu Islands, who transformed into a miraculous sea creature. Botamachi bakemono are audio phenomena originating from beneath a house's floorboards, named after the sweet rice treat botamachi. They mimic the voices of inhabitants, perplexing residents. Documented in Tachibana Nankei's 1797 work Toyuki, one legend tells of a farmer's house in Shinjo Village. Now Sabae, Fukui Prefecture, where a mysterious voice echoed everything said inside. Various guesses at its origin, from Tanuki to Kitsune, proved fruitless until one jesting youth dubbed it Bota Mochi, to which it agreed. Despite government investigations, the voice remained silent, disappearing a month after official inquiries ceased, leaving villagers baffled. Buru Buru. Dubbed the spirit of cowardice, induces fear by causing people to shudder, typically emerging from acts of cowardice like fleeing battles. They cling to individuals, touching their necks, making their hair stand on end, and sending shivers down their spines. The name buru buru originates from Japanese onomatopoeia for shivering and the chill of fear. Biako are white-furred kitsune associated with Shinto and devoted to serving a deity Inari. Revered as messengers of the gods, they are depicted in statues and sold as charms at Inari shrines. Also depicted as a celestial white tiger who dwells in the western sky and spans seven Chinese constellations, he's a part of Shijin, guarding the west, associated with metal, autumn, Venus, and white color. Representing righteousness, he controls the wind. Introduced from China in the seventh century, Biako and other Shijin influenced Japanese mysticism, city planning, and burial art. While belief in astrology faded, their symbolism persisted. Biobo Nozoki, another worldly entity emerging from folding screens, towers over two meters in height, sporting a slender physique, white attire, long black hair, and darkened teeth. Though it bears resemblance to a spectre, it's actually a sukomogami, born from objects reaching a certain age or undergoing unique circumstances. Its primary activity involves peering over screens, especially during intimate moments. Conceived by Toriyama Sekain, it's linked to aged screens witnessing prolonged periods of sexual activity with a fanciful connection to Chinese history, infusing both amusement and authenticity to its origin story. Shimi are nature spirits with human-like faces and bestial bodies, dwelling in mountains, forests, and other natural areas. They feed on the dead, especially their innards, and may bring disease. They are mischievous towards humans, tricking wanderers and leading them astray, often resulting in attacks and fatalities. The term Shimi originates from combining the names of ancient Chinese mountain and swamp gods, evolving into a general term for monstrously shaped nature spirits in Japan, where they are considered a type of mountain kami. Chinuya are ghostly Okinawan spirits resembling women with long black hair and large breasts. They dwell near rivers and graveyards where children are buried, nurturing the spirits of deceased children with their milk. However, they can be dangerous. 
weakening, and even causing the death of living children if approached. Offerings are made to them to protect the spirits of deceased children. Chinuya are believed to drown children who wander too close to their watery homes, and precautions like avoiding mirrors are taken to prevent accidents. Legends tell of encounters with these spirits, such as a story from the village of Ogimi, where Chinuya caused the death of a baby by luring him with a smile. Chirizuka Kaio is a red, hairy demon resembling a small oni, and often seen wearing tattered clothing and a crown. He is known as the King of the Dust Heap and associated with Tsuku Mogami, animated spirits of trash and discarded objects. In scrolls depicting the night parade of 100 demons, he is shown releasing Tsuku Mogami from a chest. His name originates from puns found in historical texts, connecting him to the idea of worldly attachments piling up like dust. He is interpreted as the leader of the Tsukomagami spirits. Chochinbi are fiery orbs resembling handheld paper lanterns that hover over footpaths between rice paddies in rural Japan. They signify the presence of other yokai and are believed to be created by kitsune or other magical creatures. They float lazily in rows and vanish when approached by humans. Chochin Kozo are young boy-like yokai with red, round, cherry-like faces, appearing in areas of violent murders. They are benign and harmless, known for following people on rainy nights with lanterns, repeating a peculiar behaviour until they vanish. Originating from a neighbourhood in Sandai, Miyagi Prefecture, their sightings correlate with a gruesome murder in the 18th century, suggesting a connection to the victim's spirit. Cochin Abake. When old paper lanterns or Cochin age, they may transform into Cochin Abake. These yokai have split paper forming a mouth with a tongue, popping eyes, and sometimes limbs. They enjoy surprising and scaring humans, but may occasionally be onryo in disguise, posing a greater threat. Chopirako are exceptionally beautiful versions of Zashiki Warashi. Childlike spirits believed to bring good fortune and prosperity, glowing with radiant white light. They reside in homes where a cherished only child has passed away, bringing prosperity and happiness to the household. These spirits require more attention but bring greater wealth and luck. Originating from the tradition of lavish funerals for deceased children, Chopirako inhabit specially prepared rooms in affluent households. Some inns in Japan claim to host Zajiki Warashi, or Chopirako, to attract guests seeking spiritual encounters or good fortune. <laughs>